I'm in San Diego right now. I was off yesterday, put in a bunch of bids for future, pretty much bid for every three day trip that was available. Um, and I didn't get any. I actually got my very last choice, which was to be on call from 2 a.m. to 2 p.m. Um, and then they called me last night because the trip had opened up after they were done awarding everything. Um, and I would have been next. So they called me last night and let me know that I have this trip. Um, but they didn't show me, I don't know if they just didn't leave a note that they had notified me or not. Um, so I had to wake up at 4.50 to leave by 5.50 because my check-in was 6.50. And they called me about 3.50 this morning, an hour before I had to wake up to let me know that I had this trip. Um, which was kind of frustrating because they're not supposed to call before 5 unless it's to prevent a delay and since the check-in wasn't until 6.50 they really shouldn't have called for another hour like when I was actually supposed to be waking up because we get two hours to get to the airport. It is a beautiful day. Me and a couple of the other flight attendants are going to go walk around, maybe go see the statue of the Warren's Kiss. I kind of want to go see that but I also really want to go to Balboa Park and go to the San Diego Zoo. Why don't here is actually, it went by really fast. It was, oof, I said that like really girly. Fast, it went by so fast. Um, no, it went by pretty fast. It was like four, four eighteen, four hours, 18 minutes was I think the actual flight time, but it kind of blew by. So today it was just Charlotte to San Diego. Tomorrow will be San Diego to Philly and then Philly to West Palm Beach, which tomorrow's going to be kind of a long day. But then Friday is just West Palm Beach to Charlotte, and that's it. And then I'm done. I think we're supposed to land into Charlotte by 10.10 in the morning, uh, which is great because then that gives me all day Friday to unpack and unwind and everything. And then I don't have to be at the airport on Saturday for London until... 8, 8 o'clock in the evening, which is going to be nice. It's going to be kind of hard. I'm going to have to take a Red Bull probably. Take, drink, drink a Red Bull. Clearly that's my drug. <laughs> called Anthony's now and there's a submarine in the background and it's beautiful weather and I got this and this but mostly this and a little bit of that and a little bit of that <laughs> sitting by the pool for a while but oh today was such a good day the weather was amazing had some really awesome fish tacos and just really walked a lot in the sun and now I'm exhausted I'm gonna sleep so good I just got to West Palm Beach today started Obviously in San Diego fairly early. We did San Diego to Philly and then Philly West Palm Beach. The San Diego people are just so chill For the most part like San Diego to Philly really wasn't bad at all um, It was the Philly to West Palm Beach that our service took longer than it did San Diego to Philly which My uh, we were on a different airplane. We were on a smaller airplane that had Let's see, the, from our first flight, I had 187 seats, but we weren't, we had a few open, so probably like 175 people. Um, 
Philly to West Palm Beach was 112. Uh, one less flight attendant, but still, it took us longer doing one full service Philly to West Palm Beach than it took to do a full service and a coffee and water service from San Diego to Philly. There was several times where I had two or three people trying to grab my attention or ask me for something at once and it's like I, like I'll be in the middle of talking to one person and the person behind them is starting to be like oh I need I need and it's like I'm wait I'm like patience patience and then that wears on my patience and by the end of it like by the end of the service I was just this guy made a remark and I was like that's that's nice that's nice because we want to hear that he told the other flight attendant that she had a pained look on her face I know you're trying to be funny, but it's not. Like, you don't tell anybody that. It's cool. Thanks. And then ask me why they call me Jenny. I'm like, because cause it's my name. My name is Jenny. <laughs> oh, people call me that. Um, I didn't say that, but I was like, oh, that's my name. I, I, like, how do you, how, what do you even say to that? Why are you called this? Like, unless it's a nickname or something, but that my apron says Jenny. Like, that's my name. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just happy to be here and then tomorrow is just one leg back and we land at 10.10 in the morning so it's done and we don't even have to wake up that early because it's not a very long flight. I'm in London! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. It just doesn't even like... It's not even that I've been here so many times. I've only been here twice. Well, three times now, but when I studied abroad I was here for a week and... I, I don't even, I'll probably end up going and seeing like some of the touristy stuff just because I miss it type thing and I don't get the chance to see them very often, but I mean it's already the afternoon and I've already like gone out to Sainsbury's to get a couple of snacks uh, and came back and now I'm going to have some coffee with one of the other flight attendants, but I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. I still have to go to Boots and Primark and get some fish and chips. And honestly, like, I kind of just want to get my fish and chips and eat them in Kensington Gardens because the place that I found is right near um, Kensington Gardens. But, or Hyde Park. I haven't actually gone to Hyde Park yet. It's all right in the same area. These are the snacks that I got. Jelly Babies, which, oh god, they're so good. I haven't had these since I studied abroad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then a Kinder Bueno, which I already had one of the bars. And then I got my digestives. I haven't had the caramel ones yet. I really want to find one of the bourbon flavors. Um, so when I go to Boots, I might look to see what they have. But um, Sainsbury's just had like these and then like milk chocolate and originals. Um, and I haven't had these ones, so I decided to give these a try. I haven't opened them yet. Shocking. Because I love digestives. Ugh. I have to say, these are good, but I like my milk chocolate hobnobs better. But these are good. <laughs> so far today, I've just been moseying around Kensington. Went to Primark. Tesco, didn't get anything at Tesco, which is just kind of like a 7-Eleven, essentially. Or Tesco Express is like a 7-Eleven. Now I'm going to go get some fish and chips and some cider and do a little bit of sightseeing. <laughs> everywhere and there are people cr playing cricket back there and it's amazing. If I were to live in a city, which I want to live in a city, but if I were to live in a city, it would be this city, hands down. I 
through Hyde Park. And I'm not ready to leave tomorrow. Like I am, but I'm not. Also, it smells amazing and it just feels so good. As much as I love London, like the nature of the parks is amazing. And seeing everybody out with their dogs and just lounging around and the sentence is never ending. But flight attendant than when I was here three years ago before I graduated college. 